Yo, what's going on guys? Sean Boyle with Momentum360. Like always, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to generate more leads for your business with content marketing. What's going on guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe, and click that little bell too, so you get notifications whenever we post a new video, you will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support, and now the video you've been wanting to watch. All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great Wednesday. It's March already, which is crazy. We're a quarter through the year. It's unbelievable how fast time is moving, and it is time to grow your business. In this video, we're going to be talking all about that with concept marketing, okay? So there's really five main things that we preach here at Momentum360 in order to generate and create a content marketing strategy. I'm gonna talk about five services and things that you can do to increase your leads with content marketing and then how you go about distributing that after the content is shot, post-produced, and you have it in your back pocket ready to distribute, all right? So the first one I would recommend is getting a promo slash overview video. So this is something that I will show you right now. This is what we did with Mishimoto. They're an uh, automobile company, um, pretty much, I would say, nationwide coverage. Um, very, very popular brand. I'm sure a lot of you know them. And what we did was actually create a overview video for them, kind of showcasing where their uh, engineering facility was in um, Delaware. So they have two facilities right here. And in this video, uh, we kind of just created like an overview of where it is, what they do. It's going to be their headquarters. So you can see what we did was kind of just create some uh, tags and nice transitions. There's music to this, obviously, but for the sake of this video, I don't want to put that in because there's going to be music on top of this. Uh, you can see a nice Ford Raptor, just a, a lot of different tags and call-outs essentially. Um, really just showing off what the Mishimoto headquarters is all about and what they have in their facility. It's wonderful. They have a lot of awesome stuff. I mean, they can, you see right here, this is actually a radiator from it being all the way created and, you know, something that's old all the way to new. It's a very interesting thing. So promo video is something you definitely need to have, whether it's 60 seconds, 30 seconds, just to have that. Say, hey, here's our promo video. Here's our overview video. Here's what we do. Here's us actually doing it. If you're like a chiropractor, you can have, you know, action shots of you working with clients, close-up shots, and then smooth transitions to you, know, you maybe shaking hands and getting paid for maybe a five-star review on Google from that same customer. That's a great idea. That's, you know, something that you really, really need in 2022 uh, with you know, your content. I mean, a website isn't just enough anymore. You need to actually have content that is going to reinforce the narrative about you. So what are people saying about you? Why are they going to go to you? What's so awesome about you? Okay. So that's number one. The second thing, which you guys know, is our trusty dusty uh, virtual tour. Um, so this is a virtual tour we did for Team 85. They are a gym in the New Jersey area. And what's nice about what we did with Team 85 is we actually created a aerial virtual tour, as you can see right here, where you can click onto different tags. You can click onto, again, using Cloud Pano, which is what we did, not just the interior, but have a good understanding of the exterior as well. So this is a second building, and you wouldn't have known that without shooting the outside. So you definitely need to do both as we start to get back. You can kind of see Team 85 right here. This is their main building, their main gym. You could pop in here. A virtual tour, obviously, guys, is really, really needed in today's day and age. I don't really need to go into it, but it's very, very important. I've done this, you know, countless hours on, on why you need a tour. Just to show off your facility, show off, again, if we're using a chiropractor as, as an example, show off your office. It's very, very needed to go and gain more customers and more trust. And ultimately, you know, if you have a really cool facility that you want to show off, that's the perfect opportunity to do it. Cool? Cool. All right. Let's move on. Okay. So 
this is obviously photography, right? This is HD stills. We're going to be using an example for this. And <clears throat> excuse me, the example is to mark a property. Now, this is very common, very well known, but you got to think of this in terms of your business as well. You need to have action shots. You need to have professional photography taken for your business. And again, using the chiropractor example, taking photos of you doing the work, of you shaking hands with customers, of you um, maybe sweeping the floor or something to say that you, you know, are not going to, you know, tell people to do stuff that you won't do yourself, you know, that you're always grounded. Again, going back to your narrative, what are you going to preach? It's very, very important. All right. As you can see right here, this is what we did for um, a good buddy of mine, Greg Kravitz. You can see right here, uh, just some photos and, and it's professionally done. We use one of our best guys in New Jersey. Um, this was a place in Philadelphia, actually, that we shot and it's fantastic. But as you can see, photos are needed. Again, it's very, a lot of people say basic in terms of like the overall content, but it's needed, especially with real estate. It's the number one thing that people get rather than video, tour, whatever else. Photos are key. And if you don't have photos for your business, you 100% need to get them. So it's very, very important you have photography, okay? And the second to last thing I'll talk about here is 3D rendering. So these, again, using uh, not chiropractors, but real estate as an example now to continue on this trend. This is great for pre-construction, showing off exactly what said property is going to look like. And so as you can see right here, this is a property we did with a company out in California and they're an elect uh, electrical company. So they have a lot of different um, outlets, a lot of different just utilities for electricity. So what we wanted to create was a 3D render, excuse me, house, and really just showcasing all their different um, devices at the end of the day. So it's a really, really unique thing. And if this house isn't built yet, this is just uh, honestly um, a 3D rendering of it. You can see here's the kitchen and it's pretty cool stuff. I mean, this is, this is fantastic stuff. I, I really love doing these projects. I wish we did a lot more of these, um, but we are getting a lot more, so that's good. But as you can see, there's the things that are definitely needed in terms of, again, just showing off a property before it's built for investors or for people who need to actually visually see it, whether it's B2B or B2C. It's very, very important to do stuff like this in order to get uh, in the public eye and to showcase what is to come. So this is before, not necessarily after. Next, we're gonna talk about when you shoot, how to enhance it, okay? And this is, if we go to services, let me go to virtual staging, I will show you guys a very cool thing. Okay, so inside of this virtual tour right here, you can see, as I move myself over here, you can see all this furniture is actually virtually staged. This was not here. This was a whole vacant. This is a physical property that we shot. So this house is built. But what we did was we took all this furniture and we essentially just put it all over the house to get a good representation of what someone could do with it. Okay. So this is again, using real estate as an example, something that you definitely need to do because it's very, very important. If you're not doing this, I would highly check out your company a uh, company near me that does something like this. This is very interesting to see all the couches, all the pillows, just it's really, really cool. I <laughs> mean, this is great. You know, um, we stage, you know, some olive oil, uh, you know, a coffee maker. You know, there's a lot of awesome stuff. And as you, as you can see here, um, we stage a whole bunch of other stuff. This is physically staged, this, all the stuff right here. But you get the point is, again, it's very, very important as time goes on. If you're a realtor, you're an investor, you need to show off what it could look like. You know, you have your renderings, which is great. You're showing off what it could look like. But when you shoot it after, you say, okay, this is even more what it could look like. Just to enhance it. You know, it's a very, very robust way to market it. Okay. And that is really it, guys. From a promo video, virtual tour, a um, you know, photography for the business, 
3D rendering, and then virtual staging. This is something that these are five great examples to capture people's attention. Okay, now we're really going to talk about how do you distribute this content because a lot of people don't know really where they're going to post it, whether they're going to text it out to their best friend or how they're going to get more business, right? There's really three things that we do at Momentum 360 to show off our, not only our work, but to build a bigger brand in order to get more leads, okay? So the first thing that we do, which you can see right here, is if I'm on my Instagram, I am posting the photography that we've done. I am posting some of the videos that we've created. I'm posting this stuff, right? So these are things where it's a promo video or a photo or doesn't matter, any type of photography or staging or rendering, you can post this on social media. Instagram is, that's what it's made for essentially, right? It's just photos and video and you know all this content. So posting this is great. TikTok is another great way to distribute this as you know, time goes on, TikTok is only gonna get bigger and, and bigger and bigger. So definitely consider TikTok and you know, it's gonna save yourself from doing dances. <laughs> so if, uh, if you're not a natural dancer and, and you know, you're kind of, you don't, you're kind of timid in front of the camera. You don't necessarily want to want to talk and, and you know do uh, do a bunch of you know funny things. Then post this. This definitely works. All right. Another thing that you could be doing is posting this to your Google My Business. So as you see right here, our HQ is in Philadelphia. We have almost 200 five star reviews. And what's nice is. You can post photos, you can post videos to this. So you can even show off your work and then some. And again, what's really cool is Google will actually tell you in your portal how many views you're getting from all these photos. You can post, if you're the owner, you can post your virtual tour, you can post videos, which you can see we have a whole bunch that we've done, right? So these are a great way and a fantastic opportunity to showcase your work. Again, we're posting, every single day really essentially that's that's what we try to do so this is very very important this is uh extremely important these are how you get more business at the end of the day so google my business 100 percent, and i will add in a bonus tip for you guys as well so if you don't know about mailshake mailshake is a outbound email marketing platform that is saying you can get sales outreach on autopilot. That is very, very true. I am a huge fan of doing cold emails because it's straight to the point. If you have a great product or service, people will respond, it will reach their inbox, and they will tell you no, F off, unsubscribe, or no, let's hop on a call, let's, let's talk about this, I'm interested. And we've gotten a lot of leads from this. So I would definitely recommend not only putting in your body putting in, hey, this is so-and-so with so company, and then your body uh, of, of text, you know, your call to action, what you're gonna get people to do, but ultimately put in that those renderings, put in that example, put in your photography, put in your staging, put in all this stuff that is ultimately gonna get you more leads because a lot of people are gonna see this. We send about 3,000 emails every single day just from this. So this is really what we do. I hope you guys have great success with this. If you enjoyed this video, absolutely smash the like button and comment your favorite content marketing uh, strategy that we talked, whether it's photography, staging, and then what channel and what media are you going to distribute it on? Is it going to be photos on tick, uh, like, you know, photos of TikTok with you in the background doing all these different things? Is it going to be you, you know, making a video and posting it on uh, Mailshake. There's so many different things that you could be doing, but let me know in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys. I make these videos for free, really just to provide value. And so you can start up your own virtual tour company. And so I can help small businesses at the end of the day, succeed with content marketing. So thank you guys so much. Really love making these videos and I will see you in the next one.